it's Jen for Love of Iris. Welcome to another video. Today is another watercolor technique card that I'm making. Um, and it is using some of the, my favorite hostess set. And I'm so sad it took me so long to get this. But the Love You Lots hostess set, they are just the cutest little things. And this frog stole my heart. I love him. I love you lots. I'm this one frog. <laughs> He's absolutely stinking adorable. Now I saw a card like this on Pinterest um, from a, a lady. I'm not sure if she's a demonstrator or not because she um, posted it in German so I didn't understand any, any of it but the frogs translate into any language so I actually cased her idea of the three frogs the one with the crazy hair and the hat. So if you've seen this um, on Pinterest, that's where I got the idea. I can't tell you her name because I can't pronounce it. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I would show you how to build something like this. Um, I'm using, again, the Loss of Love and then the sentiment from Wonderful Year. I thought, may your Christmas be merry and bright. Just fit perfectly underneath of them. It makes me merry and bright to think of some frogs singing to me. So, <laughs> let's get started. I um, learned a few things along the way when I built this card. So, I'm hopefully going to show you what not to do um, and what to do. So, you will need some watercolor paper. And I have cut mine down to three by four and a half. You'll need real red and I have cut this down to three and a half by five. A piece of cucumber crush which is four and a quarter by five and a half and some thick whisper white four and a quarter by eleven scored at five and a half. So let's get out our watercolor paper and the first thing we want to do is oh you're also going to need to create a mask out of your frog from post-it note or copy paper that you can put some temporary adhesive on the back or what have you. I just used an old post-it note that I had. So the first thing you're going to want to do is center up your very first frog. You want him to be high enough for the sentiment and in the middle as best you can. Now you may be more comfortable with cutting your watercolor paper after you stamp it, that's going to be very cute. So then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover up my first one with my mask so that he is front and center. And the other two frogs are going to be slightly behind him. Now for my wood stamp, I've taken a piece of vellum and I've cut it uh, four and a half by four and a half. And I've stamped some of the images on there to create myself a permanent stamp -a jig sheet. So I can now take him, because I know it's never going to change on here, and pit this little dude wherever I want him. I think I want him a little bit higher, like he's sitting on his leg. Okay, and line up your stamp -a jig remove your sheet, re-ink your stamp, and stamp down. Okay, Perfect. Now we'll take this other Lella frog, and he's going to be a little bit behind him even more. I want him higher. I want him about about there is good. So again, take your stamp -a jig remove your window sheet, re-ink your stamp, and stamp him down. And then, oh, I forgot to tell you one stamp that I'm using. I'm using Mr. Funny Bones, the Halloween stamp. And he's on, on sale right now, I think. He's the uh, in the 60% off clearance section. So I'll put a link on down below that you can click on to shop the clearance stuff. You really need to check that stuff out. It's ridiculously cheap. But I'm using the um, Mr. Funny Bones. I'm using this little hat for this little frog right here because I think it's so cute. So what I want to do now is take my mask off and I want to move it. Look at there! Aren't they cute? They remind me of Budweiser. Y'all remember that commercial with the three frogs and the Budweiser? Maybe I'll make a card what says that, Budweiser. I can use the um, stamp set what has the just the letters. What's it called? Hold on. This one. 
label our alphabet and make my own sentiment what says bud wise or i'm doing it next that's going to be another one of our <laughs> watercolor wonder or watercolor week ones that's so cute i'm so excited <laughs> okay so what i need to do now is i've stuck the mask i can't get that out of my brain <laughs> i've stuck the mask on my last frog and i'm going to ink up my top hat in the black as well that's not inked very well okay and then i'm going to stick this about where it would sit on the frog and don't worry about covering up his eyes because when you remove your mask his eyeballs will be intact watch this ta-da <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so juvenile. All right, let me clean my stamp real quick before <laughs> before it stains. Okay, now my top hat is clean. I'm going to put my ink away and get back to I can't look at it. It's so cute. Okay. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to get out a Sahara sand. Uh, let's see. What did I use for the frogs? I don't even remember. Oh, wild wasabi. Wild wasabi and soft sky. Now, this is where I messed up the last time. I took my basic black stamp and write marker and drew the hair and drew the, the sweater and his bow tie and his hair. And if you can see right there, our stamp and write marker is not waterproof. So, my ink smeared when I added the watercolor in there so don't do that don't don't do that okay we're going to color everything with our watercolor first then we will add our decoration now since we only used the um basic black archival ink on this all of this should be okay should be okay we'll find out so let's get our aqua painter and I'm going to, so far so good, I'm going to wet the bottom here just to give them a little bit of ground. And for that, I'm going to use Sahara Sand. So squeeze your ink pad, pull this open, and that gives you your paint palette. And just kind of drop in a little bit of color. We want it to look like they have a bit of a shadow, but I don't want them to look like they're sitting in mud. Okay? Make sure that it's not a harsh line down at the bottom, too. Cause that looks too intentional okay get your inky rag clean off your aqua painter and then i'm gonna keep this open because i still am gonna need that because i took it and added it to one of the little frogs to kind of change up the color a little bit i didn't want them to all be the same color because that's not fun okay so now i'm gonna take my soft sky and I'm going to do the same up here. I'm going to wet the area here. So far, so good. Yep, perfect. We're doing good. And grab some soft sky. Give my aqua painter a little squeeze. And I just want to give it a bit of a cloud. Now, I know, I mean not cloud, a bit of a sky. I know it looks dark right now, but it's going to dry lighter. And we're going to put in some music notes because these three frogs today are i should have made four and it could have been a quartet <laughs> anyway okay there's my sky so i've got my sky and i've got my ground now let me clean off my brush again oh hello inky rag got in my soft sky <laughs> silly i can put this away because i don't need this anymore now I've got the wild wasabi. Again, squeeze the ink pad, open it up, get you a nice little palette. And I'm wetting my watercolor paper first because I think the ink moves a little bit better when you wet it first. So I'm just wetting all of my frogs now with just clear water. And then I'm going to pick up some of this wild wasabi. Now I'm going to dilute one pretty, pretty intensely because I want this frog to be very pale. He doesn't feel so well. He's pale. Okay, maybe a little bit more color on this guy because you can't hardly see that he's green. 
you know, like a cream color almost. But I don't want it to be full out wild wasabi because I want the middle dude to be full out wild wasabi. There, that's good. Now I'm going to take this full out wild wasabi and make my middle frog. Now, don't color in his belly because that's where we're going to draw our sweater. So try to keep that in mind when you're coloring. I did go over a little bit because I forgot myself. But just give him color here on his legs and everything. And this little guy here, we're going to do a bow tie, but... We can do it black if we have to, so I'm just going to color him all the way in, in a pale wild wasabi. And then I'm going to give him a little bit of Sahara sand to kind of darken him up, because he might be the toad. We got a frog and a toad. Y'all remember that book when we was little frog and toad? <laughs> I used to read that all the time. Okay, just a little bit darker to give him a different color a little bit more he looks a little bit muddy either he needs a bath or he's a toad Ooh, that's too brown huh take a little bit of wild wasabi add it to that and i'll add that in a minute because it's now it's just getting darker and muddier that may not be too bad well i don't want it to blend in with the ground okay so, let me hit this with the heat tool so I can dry this little frog over here. And then I'll add a little bit more green to him. Brighten him up a little bit. Oh, these guys are so cute. Okay. Let's add a little bit more green to him so he's not quite... So brown. There. That's better. And now let me get a little bit more for him. Because I really want him to be the center of attention. He's so cute. Do you guys love these frogs? I love them. They're so very cute. Okay, now that I've hit that, I think that it's this guy is a little too light over here. So I'm going to give him a little second coat. Because he's almost the color of Kermit. Hi, oh. No, I can't talk like Kermit. Okay. There. My three frogs. All right. Now I can close all my inks up. And then I'm going to get our basic black stamp and write marker. And do a little bit. Actually, let me dry this real quick. Because I don't want it to, but I don't want the basic black to interfere with any of the watercolor because it will smear and go yuck. And we worked really hard on this. We don't want it to get yuck. Okay, now we will take our basic black stamp and write marker. And all I did was connect his neck right here with the basic black and connect his bottom right here. And then I drew a line here and a line here to give him a sweater. And then on this guy, I drew his hair up here, just kind of long stringy hair because I thought he was funny that way. He looks like a bass player I know. Long, stringy hair. And then this one's going to have curly Q hair because I think that's funny. And just however you want to do it. I mean, they're silly frogs. There's, it's not real, so it doesn't matter what it looks like. Yeah, I like that. Maybe another little... Yeah, that's good. She looks like she got struck by electrocution. <laughs> or she's had a bad hair day. Okay, and then this little bow tie right here, I just drew two lines like this, and then you connect the lines, and it makes you a bow tie. Yeah, let's keep. I think I'll make it black, because I made the other one red, but I colored this one last, so. 
there, now he got he a bow tie. Okay, for the uh, music notes, I didn't do anything special. I just kind of started drawing them. And the scratchier they are, the better, because this image here is very scratchy. So for you to just kind of draw them however you want, if you have to Google what um, music notes look like so you can copy that, that's perfectly fine. Um, just however you like to do it, just draw you a couple little music notes on there. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be um, any type of rhyme or reason. I did make them kind of go up so that it looks like they're singing as they <laughs> as the notes go up. And that's just about perfect. Now I will take the um, May Your Christmas Be Merry and Bright. Oh, look, there's one of my hairs. We don't want that. And I will ink that up in the basic black archival ink. And stamp this underneath these little dudes here. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Perfect. Okay. Now I got a color in his sweater. I almost forgot that. He had a, a naked sweater. Can't have a naked sweater. Let me clean this real quick because... The basic black has a tendency to stain, but if you clean it right away, look at there. You never know we used it. See, now I didn't clean my frog right away. Let's see how it does. See, you can see it's got a little bit of discoloration, but you can use your stays on on this rubber. Okay, let me get my real red marker. And I'm going to color real red right here. And real red right here. Look how stinking cute that is. Is that not the most amazing thing you've ever seen? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to glue this down. A little bit of snail. Snail's fine because it's not warped. So we'll flip it over and snail this sucker down. Okay, onto the real red. And then snail the real red down. Onto our cucumber crush. How cute. Love it. And then finally, cucumber crush onto our card base. <laughs> they are so stinking cute. So, here we go. Our two cards. Hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I can't stop laughing when I look at them. Um, <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Bye.